opening a gate for an outcast? Some who are shunned reaped honor before disgrace. So much for tribal law. I spoke to no one, and now we must both keep silent, for we are outside of the embrace. These are the true wilds, Aloy. With threats unlike any you have ever faced. That carcass? What sort of beast was that? The tribe calls it a sawtooth, and it's something new. Something angry. Since they first started appearing ten years ago, they have killed many braves. <sighs> yeah. Brand Nubian. We are Aloy. Taking our first steps into the larger world. Eight blades, I'll dig it. Follow the path. It's not far. That cabin. What happened to it? A machine, that's what. What sort of machine does that? The sort of machine you're hunting now. Oh. I see. A lot of blades, I'll take it. Watch your carcass. I'll harvest the parts. Watch your surroundings. Oh, man. Oh, he dead. We passed her theirs. Tomorrow they will hunt again. They won't need to. This machine will be my kill. Or your death, if you're not careful. I will not be buying maps anytime soon because they are expensive as hell. So for the most part, I'm just gonna try to remember where some of this stuff is. Like, I know this one's here, so I'm going to take it. Patterns on this flower are so strange. Lightning flash. What I thought were faces of plumes of pompous grass. Oh, and uh, Illuminati confirmed. Two shags. An 
entire lodge wrecked by Sawtooths? How many were there? I didn't bring you here to answer questions, Aloy. I brought you here to deal with that. First time I saw that, I was pretty scared. And it's on ultra hard, it's like the first time. All over again. How do you defeat it? That will be for you to decide. This hunt is yours to make, Aloy. Yours alone. No matter what happens, I will not intervene. You understand? You are on your own. I should stay out of sight. I can use the tall grass to approach. Where can I place my traps? So I'm pretty sure with these rags I'm wearing, I think will eat me alive in one hit, dog. Where are you, Rost? Not around? crafting here. Let's put some on him. I put the seven shock on him. Whatever, dog. Let's do that one. Do fire on there? I did, okay.
Jump on him. Come on. Come on. Let me get up there. That's not gonna let me do it. Pretty exciting. Didn't get hit. That's good. Boy, I'll take it. Why did I bring you here? Not to answer questions. Aloy. Survival requires perfection. It was a test to hone my skills against a dangerous new machine. No. Follow. He ain't said that to me since I was a kid. These are Nora hunting lands. They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the Sawtooth, how many Braves might it have killed or injured tomorrow? The lesson lives within the question, Aloy. For years, you've trained to win the Proving, but only for yourself. As a Brave, it will be your... Duty to fight for your tribe. My tribe? You said I wouldn't need them. But I never said the tribe wouldn't need you. The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. That is the lesson you must learn. And remember it. After the proving. And after I'm gone. We're finished here. Follow. You ain't said that to me for, for, since like five minutes ago. Dawn has passed. This will be your last day in the embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is time for you to go to Mother's heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way. I understand the final lesson, Rost. Do you? So you say. If I'm going to stand for something, it'll have to be something I believe in. Then I hope you find it, Aloy. I hope you do. I'll see you at Mother's Heart then. You will. I got skill point. Take the skill point. I'm gonna put it here. Or probably here, man. It'll be daybreak soon. Pretty much day break now, dog. Oh, wow. Damn turkey. Matrix. Matrix turkey. I 
Uh, thank you, Mr. Turkey. Somebody just shoot my bunny friend? XP though. Damn bunny. Big ass horse, give me just one shard. Sucks. Hey, what the hell are y'all still doing here? Sorry, but you guys are about to get kicked to death by horses. Uh, sorry about that.
Look, you can't see me behind the tree. Alert. Thank you, Thok, for the spear upgrade. Why don't y'all go somewhere? Why are y'all still here? When I think what it would have been like if I had lost Arana, I... Thank you, Ava. Well, hang going home yet? I'm just gonna use you guys as bait real quick, all right? Not even worried about them. Mr. Turkey, appreciate it. Louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. Yes, yeah, sirs. Mother's heart, it's gonna be dope in there, Aloy. It's gonna be sweet. Everybody's gonna be feasting. It's gonna be chicken legs. It's gonna be good, gal. Um, they'll let me in. Yeah, yeah. That's the rules. If you're a baby or whatever, when you come of age, you can run the proving. Then they'll let you in. Yeah, it'll be all right. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days. You will not find me there, Aloy. What the? F Here. Take this to remember.
Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I want to battle like the tribe. I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye. Good riddance. It's kind of fun to see that one. Because she throws down the neck. She's like, what a fine man. F you. But she picks it up at the end. She understands? Alright, yeah, I understand. I will find you. I'm gonna do this one. No, it's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This time. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you. And you. And you. And you. Hurt you. I have to let him go. For now. Where is he at? First, the proving. Is that you, Ross? After that, I'll see where his trail leads. Did you turn into a turkey? I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja. But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? They jam in here, though. She's getting down. Yeah, boy. She's drunk. And then, and then, she asked for a mate. Who is my father? I swear. Heck, heck, she get it. She get it. She get it. Oh, 
first thing she does, start thieving. Code for something? <laughs> like jerking that yerkin? Did you jerkin that yerkin there? May not mean much to you. The whole nature works for part of us. Girl, what's up? Maybe we do. Aloy! It's you, isn't it? Over here. It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hoped to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Okay. Take it. I'll equip it. Now. Can I say some stuff? I can say that. Say all and watch your hearts. Say too much strider hearts. Say my scrapper lens. Selling you my salting card. Ross gave me that. to fit you perfectly. Thank you, Tep. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. 
Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. Good to see you, Tab. I, uh, I've most definitely touched myself to the thought of you as a child. Send <laughs> him over there, cake. The fuck out of here with that shit, yo. Jed. Whoa, Little dolls? Creepy. Did I knock that training dummy down? I did. Did I? Yeah, I did. Oh, she's drunk. Caking over here. I only had three. Well, more. Have three. I could have more. Nah, that. that go. Uh -huh. Festival before my sister's proving had much better music. Damn, shade. people's roofs, huh? Get down from there, now! Oh, that's just what you want, isn't it? For me to fall on my head! Yeah, don't climb on people's roofs. What you want is for me to have no fun at all. Of course, boss is going to... Fine! Just stay up on the roof all night if you want. Yeah, I will! Who climbs better than... I don't feel so good. Looks like a stroll for tears. Every year this happens, every year. At least he's not trying to run a brave trail. What an idiot he is. 
Every year this happens, every year. At least he's not trying to run a brave trail. I wasn't drunk when I ran the proving. I'm out of one. Listen carefully now, for you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. In the beginning, all life came from all mother. I have nowhere to be for the rest of the day. Machines and beasts, all were her children. They lived alongside each other in the comfort of her wild embrace. But some grew restless. Though they took of her bounty, they wanted more. These were the faithless. The machines had whispered to them, promised to serve them, to make them a new world, better than the one all mother provided. A world of metal. They told the Faithless they would do all the work for them. Feed them, shelter them, give them a life of ease, of plenty. And so, the Faithless left with the machines. Only the true children, the mothers and fathers of the Nora, stayed with all mother. At first, the machines did as they had promised. They built cities, great and terrible. Monuments to their sins, but they would not serve the faithless for long. A king rose up among the machines, a machine more powerful than any other, the Metal Devil. And then the faithless served him, served the machines. That was not enough for the Metal Devil. He wanted all to serve him and tried to tempt the true children away from All Mother. They would not go. They gathered on the mountainside to cling to her and prayed more devoted than ever. The Metal Devil raged louder than thunder. In his fury, he came to confront All Mother, intending to kill her. She struck him down. is up there still, frozen in shame and defeat. The machines were driven mad by the death of their king, and their minds became as wild as beasts. The faithless abandoned their cities, forced to wander the world without the care of the machines. Only we remain the true children of all mother. We built all this with the hands that she gave us. Machines are to be hunted. Metal to be used for scrap, for craft, but never to be adored. And we stay true to her laws, resolute in our prayers, don't we? Don't we? For the dangers are never over. Still, the faithless envy our never over. and covet it. And year upon year, the machine's anger grows, searching for little more boys and girls who have not behaved. <gasps> what? Is that a machine among us now? No, no. These old eyes are mistaken. Oh, nice. Nice! Shame that Listen carefully now. This year. You know, For you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. In the beginning, all life it's came better than from last all year. mother. Remember seeing you as a child. Machines, beasts, all were her children. They lived alongside Yoink. each other in the comfort of her wild embrace. But some grew restless. They took of her bounty. Kiggity. Wanted more. These boss was a fool. You will let them The machines will not whisper to them. Promise to serve. Hello. Aloy, over here. Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. Why'd he come? Can't drink alone all the time. Let's trade. All right, let's do this. I want a rope caster, that's what I want.
Nothing to sell. See you later, Karst. Good luck. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Peace. It's peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by and the slavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers and Slavers! Hey, hey! Luminance Hold under. your fruit, Nora... Uh, Nora Faithful, hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azaram, not Karja, so I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology, straight from the lips of the 14th King. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Hey, thank you. <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude, written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. Unknown device no, the Karja stand with you as the sun's light. I can just turn around right now. Never talk to this dude. Never start the story. We shouldn't let these Karja I can do it. Now let's talk to him. He's wearing a focus, just like mine. I am grateful for your audience. Oh, that's your boy Rish! There he is right there. Did you see those Karja walk past? They all mother forgive me for all their words. Just like mine. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? Anora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. Maybe you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. System threat uh, detected. Malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. He got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. What else do you know about Olin? Is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. Um, uh, quite a speech. He goes into a bunch of stuff. But yeah, 14th King is not as bad as the 13th. 13th King was murdering and killing people for sacrifice. 
red rage -y, murdering people from all different tribes, including the Nora, and I had no idea about it. Nice armor, yeah, because he's Osram, baby. And he makes that armor. Osram armor is pretty tough, whatever the hell. But let's get out of here. So it's a long conversation. I don't need to do that. I did it in other playthroughs. I'm out of here. I should make my way to the blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but... Don't say it's it. It's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable. And, well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. I'll even introduce you to my sister. She's got more connections than I do. I thought you said she was captured and killed by the last Sun King. Ha! Captured, yes. Killed, no. That takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away. Now she's captain of the entire Vanguard. That's quite a story. Maybe I'll tell it to you sometime over a drink. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? High Matriarch Tears has gone too far this time, inviting these bloodthirsty Karja into our lands. Black Creek. Ten shards. Ooh, no. Oh, this is a big boy. What's up with you? Thirty-five shards, though. Oh. See about that. All right. Five. All right. All right. Two shards. Twenty shards. Damage coil, all right. All right, I can work with that. You know, I think I had enough money to buy another outfit, yeah? I'm gonna go talk to Tab real quick. Listen carefully now, for you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. Who's the climber? It's the best climber. Jark. T-Money. You know, it might yeah. be time for me I wanted to buy to another outfit. Hello, Aloy. What you have in mind? Two, two fifty. Oh damn, Tab, you're breaking my heart, dog. That's the one. That's what I wanted, though. <laughs> I had to sell a boar skin to get it. Whatever. May the goddess protect. I wish you well. Shame that musician. Yeah. You know, the one with that long, dark hair. I shouldn't have enough. It's not my name, but it should be. 
Listen carefully now. Still telling that story. I want to hear something else. Read me a Goosebumps book. Damn. I want to hear that Clifford the Big Red Dog shit. That is my joint. <laughs> Sorry I'm late for the blessing or whatever, but you know how it be. Women be shopping, you know what I'm saying? Women be shopping. Damn, she got a little baby in there. Damn, look at that little baby. Oh my gosh. That is the cutest and creepiest thing I've ever seen at the same time. That little baby though. Hey. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. Blasphemy, sisters. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light it's flame. Uh, let's see. I've seen all three of these. Which one means most to me right now? Do it for my mother, yo. In honor of my mother, whose name I would know if she hadn't abandoned me at birth. All mother, hear our prayer. What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sea. Of love. Fast, fast, fast. There's only what about Bala? Who shook? She shook. A little bit. She only shook just a little bit. This is your chance, girl. Sure, you see it through. You're taller than I am. Nobody really gave a shit this time. There's sometimes when I do this thing or whatever, there's always like one person just still sitting there, like, oh my god, <laughs> it's so beautiful. I'm shut. Illuminati <laughs> confirmed. Aloy. Now that the blessing has been made, you and I finally have a moment to speak. I hope the ceremony wasn't too unpleasant for you, given your circumstances. I've... I've never done... I hated it. Truth is, I find it beautiful. 
It meant nothing to you. She's like, I'm just here for answers. I don't give a shit about this. And this, let's just see what it says. By circumstances, you mean how the tribe cast me out at birth, never even let me know who my mother was or why she didn't keep me. And then how I had to sit there and listen to the entire tribe mumble about their mothers. I wouldn't say it was the most fun I've ever had. I worried it might be difficult for you. What we did to you was terrible. But do not blame the tribe, Aloy. It was the matriarchs who cast you out. Blame us. Don't worry, I do. But with plenty left over for the tribe that shunned me simply because the matriarchs told them to. I will not argue with you except to say there was nothing simple about our decision. Nor was it unanimous. You must have so many questions. Hell yeah, son. It surprises me the tribe lets outcasts run in the proving. It's not like the Nora to be so hospitable. It has always been law that any child outcast has this right, as a means to rejoin the tribe. So far as I know, however, you are the first ever to exercise this right. I'm not surprised. I doubt many outcast children survive long enough in the wilds to come of age. I think, rather, it is because child outcasts are so rare. In all my years, I've only known of one other child who was cast out. A boy of 13, who killed his mother. But at the proving five years later, he did not appear. No, I'd be surprised if he survived very long on his own. But at least he had a chance. Other tribes would have simply executed him. It may be hard for you to accept, Aloy. But the practice of shunning is, relatively speaking, humane. Oh, is it? Try it out for 18 years, Tirsa, and then let me know what you think. Why was I made an outcast at birth, Tirsa? What crime could I have committed even before I was born? Aloy, this is not a question I can answer. you better answer it! Why not? So teeth talk for you. And what about my mother? Is she here tonight, watching me? Or is she dead? Is she here? Or nowhere? I am sure your mother is here with us. If only in spirit. <laughs> That's not really an answer, is it? Just so you know, Tirsa, the reason I'm here is to get answers. Real ones. And when I win the proving, I will demand them. I know, Aloy. I would expect nothing less. What about Rost? Why was he made an outcast? So, he never told you? He said he swore an oath never to speak of it. Yes. As did I, and the other matriarchs. I'm sorry, Aloy. But Rost's past is another secret I must keep from you. What else is new? Rost told me that matriarchs don't just lead the tribe. What else do you do? We teach. Offer counsel. Give blessings. When necessary, we judge. Our only concern is the welfare of the tribe. Among our number this year, we count three high matriarchs and some thirty lesser matriarchs. What's the difference? Matriarchs are grandmothers with two generations of living progeny. But a high matriarch is a great-grandmother with three or more generations to her name. Thus do we speak for generations, lending our opinions weight. The High Matriarchs, most of all. So, the more children you have, the more authority you get? I guess that's one way to decide who leads a tribe. Why would there be any other? Why does Lanzara hate me so much? She is a woman of... extreme opinions. More than that, I cannot say. It's not my fault that I was born. Or that the matriarchs decided to cast me out. I side with you in this matter. But there are differences of opinion. And any vote of the high matriarchs requires a majority. I should be going. I'm sorry if I've been too harsh. It's just... I've wanted answers for so long. I know, child. You're not the only one who's waited years for this day. I will be praying for your success.
That blessing e wasn't bad. Nice and short, anyway. But I know a half dozen Asaram tinkers who could put on a better fireworks show. Oops. I hope I'm not throwing a wet blanket on your sacred ritual. It was nice. Really. Hey, you never said what you thought of my performance. With the priest and the fruit. Guess I failed to make an impression. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. The Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? You're right. Peace. Yeah, well, good luck in that proving thing. Uh, maybe I'll see you in Meridian someday. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, he's just a fucking bureaucratic religious man. He, he's boring to talk to. He's like, the Sun King is the greatest Sun King. And I'm like, uh, why wasn't there a Sun Queen? He's like, what the hell? Hello, Owen. You know my name. Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Eren needed a scout for his expedition, and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another Outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the King's court. That's all. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the Claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've dealt yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens it all said the time. something to me. It was scary shit. Mine's never malfunctioned, and I've had it since I was a child. So yours is in better shape then? I'm sure the land here is full of relics. Seeing how you Nora are too scared to delve the ruins. Because they think ruins are cursed. But I never said I think that. If the North acknowledges a curse, I'm inclined to agree. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. <sighs> Super ominous. But I know what he's talking about. Oh, I know what it's all about. I heard he'll ask for a make less of humans, but not with his girl. I imagine why you think I have sister. anything of interest. Magic. Still getting down out here. They do this every year. Oh, she's still getting it. Yes. Yes. Stand with your girl. Hey, 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 hey. I'm on the dance with your girl. Dance with your girl. Dance with your Hey, hey. Little dance with your Hey. She's getting it. I like this better as the first three times I've heard it. I love the 
this far. Wait, maybe I did knock that one down. Didn't. Come here, training dummy. Ugh, a little practice, ah. Uh. Me. What did you say? Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the latrine. You're you're very present here. <sighs> Well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. The motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. You didn't know the words to the blessing, did you? But no one hears your prayers anyway. Are you going to let Boss talk to you that way? I wouldn't. We saw you talking with the Outsiders. Couldn't convince them to take you either, huh? Where's your bite, Outcast? Or did you need my permission to speak in the presence of a true Nora? Wouldn't want to cross her. Where's your bite, Outcast? Or did you need my permission to speak in the presence of a true Nora? The fuck up, Aww, boss. you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the proving. The I Pity You one, I think... is one of my favorites. I wish there was one who said, I'm going to slit your throat in your sleep. <laughs> Where's the button for slit your throat in your sleep? <laughs> the only way you know how to feel strong is to make someone else feel weak. It's not working. <laughs> I've trained all my life. You'll see tomorrow how strong I am. Oh, I've seen plenty. You grew a man's body, kind of. But down deep, you're still a scrawny little brat. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. You should cherish it. If Rost hadn't shot my stone from the air, you'd be missing an eye. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, Outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. Ooh, got. She looks serious. Indie face. Won't let me kill you, boss. Nice job handling boss. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to boss, you, or me. Vala. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. 
I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. Well, all right. Wouldn't you want to cross her? There it is. Episode three, Saber Tooth Tiger. Welcome to Mother's Heart. Tomorrow's the day where supposedly we get all of our answers. The day we've been waiting for for 18 years. We should get some rest. So until then, we are Aloy. Outcast. Friend of Tev. Hope of Tirza. Proving contestant. That proving brand newbie. Peace.